Scotty slept in this morning. Uh, delay morning, I missed my free continental breakfast. So, I've had no coffee. Okay, left him waiting. I've had no coffee, I've had no breakfast. Woke up with a headache and woke up with, uh, woke up late with a headache. Uh, my visor is fogging up, but I can't see. Not gonna be a good day. So, this is just a quick excursion out today. We're in search of food. Uh, we're doing a rain day video. Let's actually follow this car. Why I'm saying that? I've never been, uh, never been up this road yet. So today it is time. Okay, where the hell are we? Get a rune go pro if I keep this up. Cool little street. Actually, maybe able to find a breakfast spot. Sandra's. No cosmetics, please. What is Iceland? Okay. Yeah, it's the only bad thing about the hotel I'm staying at. No stores are close. Okay, Intersport, yeah, that's a cool little alley. Got someone on my rear. Intersport. So what would this be? This would be officially day three in the Isle of Man. Uh, we're just kind of trying to find some place to grab some food. Insurance. Go. Go. Should have went the other way actually. I don't think I can. Is this really a one way? Yeah, this is really a one way. Coffee, hey, Coffee Republic. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Coffee! Well, all we can do is get in shit for coming here. Oh, no way! Man, we lost a camera already. Okay, we're going camera hunting. Unreal. Okay, I think something's maybe telling me to stop moto vlogging. Two cameras, one year. Okay, I lose my front one, I'm fucked. 
This guy's actually driving Mercedes as a cab. Okay. Let's go find a camera. This is where I said, hey, Coffee Republic. Go ahead. Is it a 125 or is that a one? Yeah, it's gotta be something like that. Okay, so how does one say fuck in Spanish? Well, the only good thing about that is I at least used camera. And it's a GoPro 1. Been looking at the GoPro 3s. Okay. <laughs> Third day, one camera down. Okay. Currently I have no idea where I am. Just down on the Isle of Man here. And uh, cool, cool little street. Cool, cool little street indeed. Post office. Well, those telephone booths, they're, they are just too cool. So we're just a little bit off the waterfront. And what I'm actually looking for is just a store. Question for you. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is this street? Uh, I've forgotten the name. Oh, oh thank you very much, mate. Um, there should be a sign up there. Up there. Okay. A Regent Street, I think. I can't see it. I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> Trying to look cool, are you? No glasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd actually give you money, but I only got Canadian coins. Oh, that's cool, man. Don't worry. Yeah? Uh, did you take Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, do ya? <laughs> I'm Scott. Nick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. <laughs> I actually like what you're playing there. Pretty good. Ah, thank you. So, can you make enough to live on this street? Um, I live in Liverpool. I've just come over yesterday. Oh, shit. Why the hell did you come here? Uh, I travelled around just playing. Oh, cool. Okay, very cool. Very cool indeed. And uh, I'll actually give you some Canadian money. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you might be able to use it somewhere. Keep going, keep going. Send the brains ahead went to my head. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You take care. I see the Canadian coin. I never knew they had them. That, that is actually a five dollar bill. That would probably be about three dollars uh, pounds. Three, three, three pounds. Yes. Cool, man. Thank you very much. No, not a problem. Uh, cool. Very just, cool. You have fun traveling. So, just out of, before I uh, stop bugging you here, you're from Liverpool. Where the hell are you going to end up? Oh, no, I'm staying in the B&B round corner. Oh, okay. So, this is your final destination. Um, no, uh, well... Where are you going after the Isle of Man? Oh, back to Liverpool. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, very cool. You take care. You too, Scott. Nice okay. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. And I forgot his name. I want to keep that stiff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will bug anyone. Mark Spencer's now. Now, isn't this just too cool of a street? And wasn't thinking about it. I should actually be pushing an R1 right now. Meh, yeah, not a bad voice. For just an acoustic guitar, I can still hear him with my helmet on. Okay, uh, I actually may have found what I'm looking for, a junk store. Beauty pharmacy boots. 
Good thing about this, walking around with a helmet on in the rain, no one's really paying attention to it. Hey. Pigeon. Okay, there we go. Okay, we found the store I need. Uh, string, but oh, I'll jump in on that on the way back once I turn my cameras off. I'm actually enjoying this. I don't really want a shot, but I need some stuff. I very rarely take vacations to go shopping. I should say I don't. I want to see, see things. I want to meet people. I want to bug people. That was too funny, given the, that guy a Canadian fiver. Yeah, not many people are giving me a second look at the helmet at all. Oh, got a smile there. Okay, this, this is cool. Moochers? Seriously? Oh, the chocolate fairy. Creative shop. What the hell, the body shop everywhere? Must be. Walk down the middle, that's what I'm trying for. Street and Castle Street. And just cause every once in a while I should just give this a clean. Hey, I like that one. 17 pounds. That was a nice one though. Uh, bracelets. I actually prefer bracelets to watches. I haven't worn a watch since I was 16 years old. Uh, I don't believe I really don't believe we should have, be having to watch time all the time. Bad way of wording that. I uh, don't like being constrained. Constrained by time. That just sucks. That really does suck. 
So, have more to watch in quite a while. Ooh, the book company. I need a new book. Koshote, I read your book too quickly. It was a very good book. Uh, hey, yeah. A book review. Should I do it? Why not? Uh, let's see if I actually got it on me. Do a few videos in one here. Uh, I don't often do this, but uh, a recommended book, The Alchemist. If you get the chance, who's that by? Paul Co Paulo Colio, Cole Colho. Uh, get you real quick, just so it doesn't get wet. Get it close there. Uh, an awesome book, and you'll probably, if you're like me, finish it really quickly. And it's one of those books that make you think. Uh, the Alchemist. So, if you get the chance, I really do recommend reading that book. I just found it to be an awesome read. Hey. Uh, pup. Star Grill and Pizza. Okay, like I say, I hate shopping. I wonder, get lucky, can I find my camera? Well, tomorrow it's looking like we're going to have some sun. So, just doing some light bombing around today. We'll do some bombing around tomorrow. And... Official mer tea and tea. Official tea. Yeah. <laughs> Tourist trophy. Okay, let's pull those. Do I? No. No, it's not what I'm here for. I've already done what I'm here for, actually. And what I mean by that, got to see, got to see the TT course for real. Actually drive it at a very eh, mundane pace. Uh, just too wet, too cold. But, uh, got to see it for real. Got to see the Isle of Man. Got to see a sunset on the Isle of Man. And... Something hit the bottom of the ocean that needed to hit the bottom of the ocean. Now, without going into too much details on that, there's a reason it hit the Ireland Sea. There's a reason for it. And I'm guessing only one person and I'm guessing only one person is really going to be able to figure out that reason. But seriously, my nose is running. Do I need anything? Oh, I think I'm gonna make it. I almost needed to buy another uh, power converter. I was lucky I actually brought two. One credit out on me already. Not quite wor working the way it should be. Okay. And now. Nah. Beating getting another book. I 
but I got other things to take care of. So I did the reading I need to. John McGinnis on the cover. They just must do so, yeah, speaking of which one's closed, so little business in the off season. And I'm almost guessing most of their business is done, done during, during the summer. God, I love the accents. I really do. And the person who's saying, man, you got a heavy Canadian accent. I don't think so. <laughs> Joking. But Canadian, born and raised. It's all I've ever heard. I was actually born down east in Montreal. We lived there a year. Then moved down west. So my Canadian ac accent will be 100% uh, Western Canadian accent. We know speak French, eh? But that's actually something I'd like to change here soon. Got a few languages I'd like to learn. I'm thinking about three. Uh, personal selfish reasons. Spanish, French, Spanish, Spanish, Italian, and then French, in that order. So yes, Vac. You ever, butchers, that's just too funny. Uh, you ever want to do some listening of, wow. People in umbrellas. I think they're driving a vehicle. Uh, listening to, oh hey, what do we got? Uh, should we buy a 58? I'm tempted. At 89 pounds, Okay, I am not. 89 pounds, no, too expensive. And it's not a Yamaha. <laughs> because Yamaha would buy it. And my nose has turned turned into a full river. So I do apologize if I get a lot of sniffling going on here. Where's she going? Okay. Is it this one? Yeah, let's go into here. Okay, so let's do a quick one here. I got enough tools. I should be able to keep my camera secure now. We got to do some work on some cameras. Uh, you know, I didn't even look to see what the hell I spent there. Uh, 
go start paying attention to that. Come on, man, smile. He's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I gotta say kudos to him being out here in the rain. That's why he got five bucks out of me. I guess I'd really be three, three pounds. can always find a bakery. Uh, tempted. No, keep on going. So tempted. Okay, and I actually think it's going to be a day where I just kind of stay, stay around the hotel. Quiet day today. Crystals. Okay, I just got to remember where the hell I parked the bike. Should I? Well, I'm parked right there, right in that little alley. I should be anyways. But, I just wanted to take a look. See what the hell they got down here. guy must be a mailman. Oh, another cafe. Chinese cafe? The pet shop. I just love the streets. They're just so cool. Okay. Pigeon almost lands on me. And we're gonna come out on the other side uh, of the wharf, the pier, just up ahead. So, this is where uh, I'll probably call it, call the video. I wanted to bug him. And that cool little red card he has. I did want to bug him. Extreme arts and gadgets. <laughs> okay, just too funny. Uh, gotta love the Elvis back there. The Iron Man, hey, that's pretty cool. Captain America and Iron Man. 
pinhead so so. Uh, it's a uh, horror I've just never agreed with. Uh, who is that? Crouchlow. No way. We actually got a signed John McGuinness. 55 lira, or 55 pounds. Uh, the only problem is I couldn't pack it. I gotta admit, mean a lot more if I actually got him to sign. Oh, hey, a guy Martin. 2003 cal calendar. Hey, okay. Hey, how's it going? Is it all right if I have my camera on? I noticed you got a Guy Martin calendar. Mm -hmm. 13 pounds. I saw that. <laughs> Watching where you're dripping. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. That's all right. No, first uh, the John McGinnis uh, signed uh, picture there caught my attention. Okay. But the calendar, uh, 13 pounds. Yes. Uh, I'll take it. Okay. And yes, I do have to watch where I'm dripping. I'm sorry. When we've got the guys in in CT week, I've got all the pictures laid out for the, the writer to sign. People stand over with wet clothes. I go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I go nuts. No, I, common sense would kick in. I can believe it. Well, the helmet, believe it or not, it's perfect on a day like this. Uh, oh, of course. It's actually keeping me dry. It's handy any day. <laughs> on visa. Hello, Martin. There you go, mate. Thank you. So, where are you from, Canada? Uh, Calgary, Alberta. Oh, well, all right, okay. Yeah. I was there in March. Ah, okay, no, I. I was there on the Olympic bobsleigh run. Oh, very cool. <laughs> yeah. last for three weeks. I almost had a chance to do that myself last year. Right. Yeah, I was close. On the last day of the season. Oh, cool. I whip blast for three weeks. Helped. <laughs> <laughs> Help. What helped my whip blast, Martin? <laughs> <laughs> and now you're next. Uh, too funny. You told me, no. mate, you get on the chemist. No, that's right. Well, I left basically minus 20 degrees with about, I guess there's about four inches of snow. So this uh, this is a much improved weather. <laughs> I was in Lethbridge for 10 days and then Edmonton for, for another 10 days. A great time. Okay, I grew up in Edmonton too. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I Edmonton. I was there for quite a while, so I know it quite quite well. I used to be stationed in a place called Medicine Hat. Oh no way! Yeah, I was there for so, uh, three months. Yeah. What were you doing? Working in the oil field? No, I was a uh, soldier. Oh, so I went back gotcha. Gotcha. Battis, it's called. No, I bartended for seven years. I ran into a lot of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Who walked out in all shapes and sizes and all states of health, no. mostly pissed. That's right. Oh, happy times. Oh, <laughs> yes. No, understand. I think it's on my army record. <laughs> you have a good day. Thanks very much. Okay. Take care. Okay. So, there is a reason for coming down here. I got a Guy Martin poster. Now, that is just too cool. Uh, Guy Martin, he, if you don't know the TT scene racers, he is just too fucking cool. He's a person who speaks his mind. And I was actually just talking to somebody about this yesterday. So it's kind of funny this is happening now. Uh, I really respect people who speak their mind. I really do. I hate people who keep you guessing. Okay, so there we go. We got an R1.